One of the world's leading investors is shorting stocks. He says he's not too optimistic about the future of our economy in 2012, and the only way to make money in the long run is to invest in commodities. Joining us from Shanghai on the Fast Line is Jim Rogers, the CEO and chairman of Rogers Holdings and also the author of the book, A Gift to My Children. Jim, it is a pleasure to have you on Fast Money. I am delighted to be here, Melissa. What uh, commodity specifically are you the most optimistic about going to 2012? Well, Melissa, I'm, I'm not sure I'm optimistic about 2012 at all, and I'm certainly not optimistic about 2013. But if I were buying anything, it would certainly be agricultural commodities going forward. We have huge shortages developing of everything, including shortages of farmers. So agriculture is going to be a great place for the next 10, 20 years. And when we say that you're shorting stocks, what kinds of stocks, what parts of the world specifically? Well, I'm short emerging markets. Uh, I'm short uh, American technology. I'm short European stocks. Uh, I don't see much reason to own stocks, Melissa, when one can own commodities. If, if the world gets better, I'm going to make a lot of money in commodities because of the shortages. If the world doesn't get better, there's shortages in commodities, but then governments will print money. And whenever governments have printed money, the way to protect yourself is to own real assets. Hey, Jim, Brian Kelly, uh, you're in Shanghai, and the big question here is uh, China hard or soft landing. Where do you come down on that? Well, some parts of the Chinese economy have a very hard landing. The Chinese government has been trying to kill a real estate boom for two and a half years. They've raised interest rates six times, raised reserve requirements a dozen times. They're going to pop the real estate bubble, and they're doing it. But that's not the whole Chinese economy. There are many parts of the Chinese economy which will boom no matter what happens to real estate in Shanghai and Beijing. Hey, Jim, quick question. You talked about the ags themselves, but as far as the equity markets, something like the fertilizer stocks, they've been beaten absolutely lower and lower and lower with every single trading session. Is there any promise in the future as far as potash, mosaic, any of those particular names? Well, I'm not familiar enough to give you a, a, a good comment. I just remember in the 70s, stocks went down and did nothing, or economies did nothing, and yet commodities themselves went through the roof. Some commodity stocks, of course, did well in the 70s. But Yale did a study recently showing you would have made 300% more investing in commodities themselves rather than commodity stocks, unless you were a very good stock picker. So I'm sticking with the real commodities. Hey, Jim, it's Steve Weiss. Uh, thanks again for being in my book. I spent a lot of time with Jim inter interviewing for my new book. And he travels everywhere in the world, uprooted his family from the U.S. and moved to Singapore. So he's eating his, ho his own cooking in that regard. What do you think of the other BRIC nations? We talked about China. What about Brazil that's dependent upon China to a large extent? Well, what would you said you sold it? Would you short it? No, no, I'm short India, I'm short uh, Russia and places like that, but not, um, Brazil is a huge natural resource-based economy. Uh, when, when they're commodity bull markets, they do well. I mean, the unfortunate, and I'm not long in Brazil, I'm not, I have no position, the unfortunate thing is the new government is starting to do some pretty foolish things, which uh, I think will not, not make them participate as much as they could have otherwise. Uh, and Jim, you are long gold, you're long silver, but you do expect a correction to continue until about the 1300 uh, an ounce level or so? Is that correct? Well, Melissa, mm -hmm. Melissa, I'm a terrible market time. I'm a terrible <laughs> trader. So you should watch your show or CNBC to get good prices. I, I, it would not surprise me if gold went down to 13, 1200. If it goes that low, I'm going to buy a lot more. Uh, I'm not selling any of my gold or silver, but I'm not a good market timer. Uh, I'm just saying that gold has been up 11 years in a row. It deserves a substantial correction. Substantial corrections are not unusual in bull markets. If it goes that low, I'll buy a lot more. All right, Jim, a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much for phoning in from the other side of the world. Jim Rogers calling us from Shanghai tonight.